In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to view compatibility settings in Microsoft Edge. Whether you're a developer, a tech enthusiast, or simply someone who needs to access older web pages, understanding these settings can be quite beneficial. Let's dive in. First, you'll want to open Microsoft Edge. If you're not familiar with it, just look for the bluish wave icon. That's your cue. Now, once you've got Edge open, turn your attention to the top right corner of the window. Here, you'll notice three dots aligned vertically. This is the settings and more icon. Go ahead and click on it. A drop down menu will appear offering you a variety of options, but you're going to want to focus on the one labeled settings. Click on it to continue. This will open the main settings page for Edge, presenting you with a suite of customization options tailored to optimize your browsing experience. Next, take a glance at the left hand side of the settings menu. You're looking for default browser. Click on it and prepare to delve deeper into the compatibility jungle. Now you've arrived at the section that's dedicated to browser defaults, where one crucial part is the Internet Explorer compatibility section. This section is key if you need to access web content that's specifically designed for Internet Explorer. Within this area, you'll find an option that reads allow sites to be reloaded in Internet Explorer mode. This setting determines whether the browser can switch to an Internet Explorer like mode to display older or incompatible websites correctly. You'll have two choices here, allow or don't allow. Toggling this setting to allow enables Edge to reload sites using this compatibility mode, providing a useful workaround for any potential issues with older web content. However, if that's not necessary for you, you can easily toggle it to don't allow to maintain a modern browsing environment. Finally, it's important to note that anytime you make changes to this setting, you'll need to restart Microsoft Edge for those changes to take effect. Simply closing and reopening the browser will suffice to ensure your new preferences are active. And there you have it. By following these steps, you've successfully navigated through Microsoft Edge's settings to find and configure your compatibility preferences. This feature is especially handy for those tricky moments when a website just won't cooperate. Thanks for watching and happy browsing.